Hi beautiful people, how are we all doing? Today we're going to talk about my thoughts and the bags that I'm hesitant or scared to use. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, glad to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion to like more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and celebrating others. So, I was very kindly tagged by Erin, the handbag housewife. Channel will be linked below, video will be linked below. In this video, which is a tag which was created by Alana at Coach Craze, again, video channel will be linked below. And this is about bags that we are scared to use, hesitant to use. And I saw this tag, I thought that's really interesting. I thought, what do I think about that as a particular topic? But actually, before we get into it, bag of the day. Bag of the day. There it is. There it is. And this one has had a little bit of a change because this was the previous scarf. This is the new scarf. Let me know, do you think the black with the yellow worked better or do you prefer the pink? I personally prefer the pink, but this scarf arrived about three minutes before I did this video. So I thought I'll quickly change it, quickly show you. I love the pink. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it goes perfectly with my outfit today, including a pride top by Calvin Klein. This is from last year. I need to buy this year's. Anyway, love this, beautiful bag. And funnily enough, the reason that I show you this to start with is because this is one of the bags that I should probably care a little bit more about. And don't get me wrong, I care about it immensely in terms of loving it. However, in terms of usage, I just use it. I just use it. I don't worry about it. It's got corner wear. Ugh, the dreaded corner wear. It has it. Ah, panic. I'm not panicked. It, I bought this pre-loved. It didn't have the corner wear when I bought it pre-loved. It does now. Oh well, I've been using it. I've been loving it. I have just been making the most of it. And I, that really does sum up my philosophy when it comes to these items where I just think, use them, love them, use them with abandon, make the most of them. They shouldn't be artifacts that sit in your wardrobe. The reason that an that an item would be an artifact in my wardrobe is because it doesn't suit me and therefore I don't use it. So I do have some, but it's not because I'm scared to use them. It's because I just don't like using them. And that's the main difference. But I really believe that items are there to be used. However, there are a couple of items that I am a bit more conscious of, should we say. Doesn't stop me using them. I'm a bit more conscious of them. And let me tell you why. But let me start with the one that I would probably say I was most nervous to use at first. And then I got over myself. This. So this is my Longchamp Le Pliage Green Collection in the colour Snow. I think that the reason that I was a bit hesitant to use this is obvious. Um, I love it. I think it's great. I've used it a couple of times. The first time I used it, I got colour transfer on it. I then decided to use it and take it to a club. So, you know... It's got, it's got scuffs, it's got scrapes, it's got marks, whatever. It's fine, never mind. This is a durable bag in a durable material. The colour is beautiful. I just nylon clean it as much as I can. Whatever doesn't come off, fine. It's part of the, part of the bag's history. So do I ever plan to resell it? No, I don't plan to ever resell any of my bags. So therefore, if I use them and I can see the marks, etc. If there's a drink on it, fine. I'll probably remember the night that I spilled it and it was probably a cracking night and I probably had a great time. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. This was one that I was nervous about and it did sit for probably about six months without being used. And then eventually for when I went shopping at Bista Village for my birthday, about six months ago, I thought I'm gonna take that, use it, used it, got color transfer on it. Never mind. Fine, moving on. It's a beautiful bag, love it, but was very conscious, not so anymore. Another one that I have used, but I'm trying to preserve somewhat, 
is this. Just because I think it's beautiful, it's nostalgic. I use this for a black tie. It sits as a bit of an ornament in my flat. I love it. I just think it's really fun, really playful, really cute. So I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. So I do just need to be a little bit more conscious of how I use it. But this isn't a bag that I would just take for any old night out. I've taken it out for a dinner. So I'm very conscious about how I'm using it and where I'm putting it. And then I have, and then I took it out for a black tie. So again, sits on a table. This is the bag for me that sits on a table or sits on a bag hook. Um, and I just look after it, but it doesn't stop me using it. I'm just a little bit more aware of the fact that I want to maintain it for a little bit longer. A bag that I should be more careful with, but I'm not. And when I bought it, I said, I'm going to be so careful with it. I have to be really conscious of this. Ta-da! My Kurt Geiger Tweed Embellished Flap. I should be more conscious with this. I've taken this on nights out. It's got snagged, it's got scuffed, but you know what? This is, this is holding up pretty well. I've used it a number of times and it's holding up really well pretty much like new, but I just don't worry about it. It had, from where I've used it with my pink faux fur, it has loads of faux fur caught in the, in the beads, etc. But it's an absolutely beautiful bag. I, I think it's there to be used and yeah, it's got a little bit of, you know, scuffs and scrapes and things going on, but hey, don't we all? So I, I really enjoy it. I don't worry about it. I should worry about it. I thought I was going to, another piece of pink faux fur. Thought I was going to, you know, be a bit more conscious than I am, but I think it's there to be used. It's there to have fun with it. And hey, do you know what? Maybe when I took this out, my night was intended to be a little bit more calm, relaxed, and maybe it escalated. So the fact that this was in a club with me at 3 a.m., meh. Although I have changed my clubbing bag now. That's my Kurt Geiger Double XL Flap in Grey because that really has been through it. And actually, that one just needs to continue on that train. So I'm just going to let that one be my main clubbing bag. And this one will be a little bit more sophisticated. These two, in fairness, can probably be used for interchangeable events. So they probably will be. One that I'm very conscious of for a very specific reason. I have used this a significant amount. I love it. It's beautiful. It's my favourite bag in my collection. Hence why, although I've used it continuously and enjoyed it, and it does have marks, it does have scuffs, it does have scrapes, I have stopped using it to quite the same extent because it has a lot of sentimental value to me. This was the bag that I bought to mark six months um, of my mental health journey, and therefore it has a really special place in my heart. I wish, I wish, I wish I had bought a second one of these when they were available at Bista. I didn't, and I should have done, um, because I wish that I just kept one for best. I don't believe in keeping things for best, but this, this is the most sentimental bag in my collection. So I wish that rather than having to stop using it, I could just have a second one in reserve, um, which maybe sounds silly. Let me know if you understand that, <laughs> if you're feeling, if you ever feel similar, but I really do love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm just a little bit more conscious now with how I use it and where I take it. This would never, I was about to say this would never go to a nightclub. That's such a lie. I took this out on my friend's hen do in March. Oh my word, it did go to a club. It did go to a club. Although it didn't go to the, we went back to the hotel room, ate McDonald's and then went back out. And then this stayed home because I then took this. <laughs> Took every fragile bag I owned, basically, every sentimental bag. <laughs> so that's this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. I cannot recommend it enough. If you happen to be able to pick up this colour in any of the kind of outlets near you, absolutely do it. Wonderful, stunning. I love it. And finally, before I kind of put in some bags that I thought I'd worry about that I didn't, um, I know that this one is one that I will probably have to be a little bit more conscious of. But it is what it is. And that is my newest acquisition, which is my mini Kurt Geiger Kensington flap in this faux fur, pink faux fur. The reason I have to be careful with this is if this gets wet, it'll probably smell. It could get matted. Um, it could easily get stuff stuck in it. I chew a lot of gum, so hopefully I don't accidentally get gum caught in it or something. That could be, you know, that could be a mess. But I just have to be a little bit more conscious with something like this because the material is that bit more delicate. Um, and could, could matte and look very old and uh, not as appealing very, very quickly. But it's super duper cute. How cute is it with this outfit? Oh, dreaming. Anyway, it is adorable. So I just need to be a little bit more aware of it. But will it stop me using it? Hell no, it will not. 
absolutely not, no ma'am. And the bags that I thought that I would be a little bit more conscious of, but I haven't been. I obviously referenced my mock croc mulberry base water, which I believe is called the Nile. Um, love that. Just use it. It's there to be used. Um, mulberry's at a price point that I think this will last me a long time. And if it does come to the kind of the end of the road, then I will either get it restored or I will buy another one and it'll be fine. I thought that I would be a little bit more nervous of using this than I have been. But again, I've just used it, loved it. Just used and used and used. It's been fabulous. It's been a real workhorse for me. My yellow mulberry backpack, I thought that the yellow would be something that I'd be super duper conscious of. And I just haven't been. I've, again, just been using it. I've been using it for work. I used it when I went into London recently. It's a great bag. I put it down on the tube. I put it, you know, put it down on the floor. I just really do believe that these are there to be used. And I buy within a price point um, that allows me to feel comfortable doing that. Would I feel comfortable doing that with every bag? Absolutely not if I bought in a very different price point. Um, just because for me, if it, if it feels like I've stretched in a slightly different way, then I probably want to preserve. But then in which case, I think if I don't want to use it because I'm nervous about using it, I probably just shouldn't have bought it. That's where I get to. And I, I do respect that people buy things not wanting to use them or they want it to be for a very specific occasion or event. I completely get that. I also do understand not using something if you do have an intention of reselling it at some point. It's the name of the game, it happens. But I really do believe that these are here to be used. They are here to have fun with. They're here to be part of your outfit. They're here to be a part of your expression of your personality. So therefore embrace them. Don't worry too much about them. Um, and unfortunately things happen with all the best intentions. You can try and look after something incredibly well. Sometimes it gets scuffed, sometimes it gets scraped. Take the interior of my Kurt Geiger double XL flap. That got ripped by a set of keys. Things happen, unfortunately. You can't always predict it. You can't always control it. Sometimes you just have to roll with it. And particularly with material items, roll with it. Anyway, thank you so much, Erin, for tagging me. This was a lot of fun to think through. I would love to tag a couple of people as well. Caleb, I would love to know your thoughts on this. Mary, I would love to know yours. Yota and Amelia as well. So I will tag you below. Um, please do go check out their channels as well. Subscribe. They are wonderful individuals. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.